Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are doing two build ideas with the new bakery house. As we get started today, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. It really does help me out. For the first build idea, we're going to do something more structured and elegant core related. So I hope that this brings you some inspiration in case you're doing a similar theme idea, maybe in your peaceful meadow or plaza. I feel like this build works really nice in these two biomes, but of course, I'm sure you can make it work in a different location too. So for this first build, I actually wish I would have moved it to a more spacious area because on the right Right side of Remy's home I didn't have enough space to do a really nice detailed area so if you're recreating this I would definitely move it somewhere else so this side of the build will be a little bit more simple in comparison, but I'm really excited still with how all of this turned out. I feel like it really captures an elegant city vibe so well. Anyways, I hope that today's build brings you some inspiration and we're going to go ahead and continue detailing in front of these two buildings. So now that we have most of our layout done, we're going to go ahead and continue detailing our centerpiece by the buildings. I will be using a different pathway to kind of give the illusion that this is stepping stones. I just wanted to do something a little bit different than using the little rock clusters that I normally use for pathways. And then for the next stage of my build, I'm going to do another little garden area on each side of the empty grass spots by the plaza. And this is just going to be simple with some more arches and also a fountain. And then I'm going to detail with some butterfly flowers. And then once I finish detailing this little area, we're going to make a nice sitting spot right by our bakery. And I'm just going to do rugs and a couple of chairs and tables. We're just going to keep it really simple and functional. That way natural resources can spawn in the empty locations. After a few more final details, here is how the first build idea turned out. I definitely think this looks very elegant and I love how glowy it is during the evening too. I hope that this first idea brought you some inspiration and now it's time to move on to our second idea for today's speed build. For this next idea, we're actually revisiting the cottage town that I just made a few weeks ago on my channel. If you're interested in how I did this entire build, I will have the video linked in the video's description. So this build is going to be a little bit more natural in comparison of the other build that we just did. I really wanted to suit and match the vibe of this location really nicely. So we're going to use a lot of overgrown elements and purples. Just like the first build, I will be using some of the Hercules items that we just got last week in the premium shop, but this one's only going to make use of the bench and the fountain. Next, I'm going to use a touch of magic rug, and this is going to be customized to look like a little patio area right next to our bakery. I really like this location though for the bakery just because I think it matches my cottage town really nicely and I needed to progress this a little bit anyway so I'm really excited that we can finally just get this progressed a little bit more. I'm not sure though how I want to finish my cottage town yet so we'll probably work on this more during a future live stream. I was definitely considering a new functional farm for this biome so if y'all have any other ideas you would love to see added into the cottage town let me know in the video's description because that feedback really does help me out. It just helps me plan out future builds in general. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and continue detailing around our bakery and then once we finish it, we'll do a final overhead shot of how the finished build looks.
So now that I have most of my cottage layout done, I'm gonna go ahead and continue detailing with some bushes and flowers around the fountain and sitting area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some table and chairs on our little patio spot too. And also now that I'm looking back at this footage, I kind of wish I would have chose maybe the barrel tables for my cafe build instead. I just think that doing that would add a more cottage core look to the build. So I think I'm actually gonna swap out these tables to do the barrel ones instead. So when I do a live stream in the future, this area will be a little bit different looking just because I do make that swap. Anyways, after all of our final details, here is how our finished cottage core bakery turned out for today's second build idea. I hope that both builds today brought you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Before today's video also ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video. Thank you.